As we come on the air in the West tonight, millions of Americans are bracing for this. Hurricane Arthur growing in size tonight. You can see it swirling right here behind me and the winds now gusting up to 90 miles an hour or more. This satellite image saying it all tonight. The view from space churning off the Carolinas. Fourth of July celebrations canceled in so many cities and towns up and down the coast. And look at this, the eye of the storm as seen from above, a monster of a storm with very bad timing. And there's something else. The team at NOAA reminding us at least three storms, 1996, 2002, and now 2014, all named Arthur, all taking aim at North Carolina. Our extreme weather team is standing by tonight all along the coastline where those evacuations are underway, but let's get right to it. Meteorologist Ginger Z tracking this every step of the way. She has the newest track coming in. Where is Arthur right now? The eye of Arthur is passing just southeast of Wilmington, North Carolina, so it's a big city we've got to talk about and the track it's going to take after this with plenty of warm water still to feed on. We're going to see it strengthen and that's why it could become a category two as we go into the overnight hours passing by the outer banks rocketing through with those 90 mile per hour winds offshore of New Jersey and New York, but still will spit out some rain and combine with a cold front. I wanted to point out to Massachusetts because part of the Cape and Nantucket will have tropical storm warnings already do. Now drier air will be filtering in behind this cold front and that's going to help sweep that storm away, but not before it hits with those high winds overnight, nearly five inches of rain. We've already seen tornado warnings and we take it hour by hour here so you can plan your 4th of July. Look at Long Island covered in rain by Friday and by Boston. 10 p.m. Still plenty of rain up through New England, plus those 40 mile per hour winds or better. A much nicer weekend ahead. The tropical storm warnings and of course the hurricane warnings anywhere from Myrtle Beach to Virginia Beach tonight. All right, we are forewarned, Ginger. Thank you. And as Ginger points out, Hurricane Arthur churning off the coast of Wilmington, North Carolina at this very moment. There have been traffic jams and blinding rain to get through, and that's where we find ABC's Matt Guppin tonight. Matt? David, right now, Arthur is really pummeling the coastline. We've been seeing it for hours, and now we're feeling it. The stinging rain, the sand blowing on our faces, also this foam all around us. It's causing power outages, there are evacuations, and people are really starting to hunker down now. The Carolina coastline tonight lashed with wind and rain. Watch as Arthur's storm clouds pour into Wrightsville Beach, North Carolina, whipping those red flags. The midday sky blackened, and 35 miles out to sea swells as tall as two-story buildings. 18, 20 foot right there. It's a mountain of water. Sand kicked up on the shores. We drove across much of North Carolina today, the rain sometimes blinded, seeing cars spun out and crashed on highways, the roads inland clogged with cars heading away from the coast. This line stretches for miles down the road. We're just starting to see it. People driving away from the coast and, and traffic already is pretty bad. With the storm bearing down, some are boarding up and many are heeding the governor's call. For those areas that are not being evacuated, please hunker down. David, all this wind and the rain and the waves have kicked up all of this sea foam. It looks like sand, but it's actually just foam. Now, over the past couple of hours, we have watched the ocean devour this beach, and it's just going to get worse. Four inches of rain forecast for this area. We could see some storm surge, and all of this is happening during high tide.